Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. So, we are, um, we're gonna be playing some auto chess today. It's been a while since my last video, and I have actually, got, uh, you know, achieved what I was hoping to get, and that is get to Bishop 1, and I'm now at actually Bishop 2, and I did get my, uh, legendary, uh, chess player here that was part of the rewards for getting to, uh, Bishop 1, and that's part of the season there. So we're gonna go and hop into a match as well. So I've been playing... Um, you know, semi-regularly now, and, you know, also following uh, Claytano as well as uh, Excoundrel, uh, who I think you really should subscribe to. They're, they make really, really good content, and I have learned a lot from them as well. And so for me personally, it's just about, like, learning the build, and I find a lot of, a lot more success when I try going with Warriors build, and also, um, I like going with mages, uh, sort of like Beast, Warrior, Mage, or uh, hunters those are sort of the combination i try and go with i tr i try to go with you know i try to go with a goblins build but i don't i don't really always have a lot of success with that because i typically have to transition out of that uh, about mid game and so we're going to go ahead and uh, play this out and see how we do so i'm selecting the spirit uh, um, the Stone Spirit right here as a warrior card, uh, that's a pretty safe choice, so we'll have to see uh, what else comes out. And so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Red Axe Chief. And I'm... So synergy-wise, you know, for sure picking up this card would be... Uh, this piece would be good. I'm thinking about whether or not to pick up the Frost Knight. Although I don't think I'm going to go with a warrior, um, the warrior Glacier build. It is a... You know what, I think I'm going to pick up anyway. It is a very strong build as well, the Warrior Glacier, especially in the late game. Uh, typically, whenever I go up against the, the, the Warrior, uh, the, the Knight Glacier um, build, it, it does give me a, a lot more hard time. And so let's see. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to pick up the Hunter as well. Uh, and I think it would be better to actually do this. So I, because the, way, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not going to be able to get the... The warrior bonus with just two of them but having the uh the cave clan bonus means that they all get some additional buff here so we, they all get uh 250 additional hp so it does help uh in the beginning and so the, the goal here is to try and get as many pairs as possible in the earlier rounds and then uh if i can get on a sort of winning streak so so the thing about this game too is all, all about the economy right so um if you can keep winning, then you'll get uh, you'll, you'll get some streaking and then streak going on, and you'll get some uh, some coins. And also, if you um, if you lose and you streak, you can also get some as well. So I think I'm actually this is interesting. I kind of want to pick up this, and I might just pick up the thunder spirit for now. And so the reason I did that is because uh, I could get the I could get the spirit uh, spirit synergy going and so that, that that could help and this is a pretty tanky um, card for being a mage card it has 750 health so that's pretty nice compared to uh, even the stone spear as a warrior at uh, 650 and so it looks like i'm going i'm not going to be able to win this round i am up against a, a two star stone spear already and so that's sort of the issue right now trying to get get myself a um Trying to get myself a uh, uh, you know three star here, and I this is good, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all of these right here. I'm gonna go ahead and rank up, and you know I might just get rid of this right here, and I'm gonna go pick up the Tusk Champion, and so this now mm, we'll probably go ahead and do this. So we have the Warrior bonus. We have. And we also have the, the, the cave clan bonus. So the goal here is still to try and uh, win the rounds here. But then if I lose a couple of rounds here, then I might need to consider uh, doing a uh, loose streak where I will get additional gold uh, each round. But it looks like I'm going to be able to win this round right here. And so we'll have to see. Uh, this is when I need to make sure that I uh, level up at the appropriate times. I leveled up. I, I will probably have to level up to level 5 at round 6 depending on the, the draw here. So I do have one right here, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, level up to five here. The, the reason I do this is so that I can give myself a you know, better chance at, would it be better actually? It might be better to do this. So now I can actually uh, get the energy, uh, the, the spirit bonus. 
So these two cards would actually have a chance to turn my attack, uh, you know, my opponents into into uh, stones. And let's give you a bit more armor here. And so my opponent also has gone to level five and also has already a uh, um, the bonus for a glacier. Although it looks like I might be able to come out ahead here uh, because I was able to turn some of my opponents into stone there. So this is so going so so far so good, and having the the two um, having the two two uh, two stars there is really good. And I'm gonna pick up the swordman as well. And there's also the, always the possibility for a hunter build. So I already have uh, one hunter and two hunters here. If I get a um, Let's see, a dwarf hunter or a wind ranger th that would make up my uh, my hunter build, and then I could use this as my front line and actually go with this instead. And so I might actually do this instead of the tusk champion. So I think this is going to be this is going to give me a, a slightly better edge here. And if I can pick up another um, thunder spirit, that'll be really really good too. So here, I'm going up against a Goblin Mech build, but I'm able to survive the hits from survive the hit from the Skybreaker and also from the Heaven Bomber. And so we're we're on a small little winning streak right now. We're at 96 health, so that's that's pretty good going in. I kind of want to make sure I keep this going here. Um, and then at at round nine, that's when I'm gonna go up to also uh, level six so i guess i'll pick up a chief here i'm not gonna roll just yet i think i'm doing okay um next round i'm going to level up and then depending on what i pick up i'm gonna level up and then either go with a see hopefully go with a hundred build or maybe um continue to go with the warriors but right now this team is doing okay i'm hoping to pick up another double another pair and also uh, see if i can go with so like here's the here is the uh, Wind Ranger that I was talking about that I wanted to get. And let's see, so we've, they've also got the Shadow Devil, but we, we were able to take it out before it uh, actually gives out its um, ultimate attack. So there, so we're, we're doing well so far. So this is the kind of start I'm hoping for. And so this 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 makes it easy. Like the, the, the thing about Warriors build is that they give you, you know, uh, they have their armor. So that's all the whole point is that they are the sort of the frontline tanks. And having Werewolf is really good. So this is a really good time to get a Werewolf. And I'm going to go ahead and level up right now. And I'm going to put in put him in here as well and I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to put him in the middle so that he could actually uh, get his bonus you know uh, to basically transform to werewolf as fast as possible so this is this is a good setup here I'm, uh, I got my pair here for my uh, for my skull hunter so that I could uh, hopefully get him to two star and I'm hoping to get my werewolf to uh, you know basically transform so he just needs to attack one more and then basically get the wolves out here that will help this both distract and also take out the opponents here so let's see we, we are this is getting close but i think we should be fine and so we're entering the creep round uh, round 10 with a winning streak so that's good the thing about the creep rounds is whether you win or lose you don't actually lose your streak and so we're going to continue to have our um our economy so we're at nine right now and let's see how we're doing overall so we've got uh, a couple people that are doing much better chance here is probably loose streaking and so we're at 16 I don't like any of the choices here so I'm just not going to bother with it and I'm just going to wait for the next uh, for, for the next round so we're going up against rock golem we should be fine with our team here so I'm hoping to pick up a another werewolf here and also obviously another uh, any any of these pairs really uh, would be good and there's still always the possibility for for the hunter build and depending on whether or not i get the tusk champion that would actually be good because then i can get the beast bonus beast bonus is only you only need two to get additional 10 percent attack for all of your allies and so uh, that would also work really well with a hunter build because hunters uh, also deal additional damage so they, they all kind of work together to make it a um a team that you can deal a lot of damage and also uh have a lot of 
you know, uh, sort of frontline defense. So this is good. Uh, let's see. My, do I want to change this a little bit? Mm, let's have let's have swordman. So swordman actually has a um, area of effect type damage, and so what he will do is he will actually attack you know uh, all of the enemies in the middle. So I want him to do that. Uh, so let's make sure you get your okay good so you got his uh, wolves out now this team is pretty strong with also uh you know the knights there but i think my team is just strong enough to withstand the the, the attacks and so we're going to continue to to win here so that's good so this is round 11 we're able to take out shadow x who is currently in fourth place so we're just behind fumika and let's see so this isn't I might consider going to round, uh, level 7 in uh, round 13. Uh, so I'm not going to roll right here uh, because I'm only really going to be rolling for a uh, Thunder Spirit. But I think with 31, I'm going to keep it as as as, uh, as it is right now. So Fumika is going with a Demon... Well, really just with the three Assassins build. So three Assassins, they give a critical chance hit for three times of damage. And right now, not against me. So let's let's see who we're up against. So we're up against a Seeger, who is, uh, let's see, Seeger is running a Mage build already. So Mage build aren't actually, uh, it's hard. It's harder to get a Mage build going early on. They will become really really strong in the late game once they build up a really strong frontline defense. Uh, that's that's how I've sort of played it. But for now, we. I mean, we barely won, but uh, we were still able to come out ahead right there. All right, so with this now, we're up to 43, and here is our Thunder Spirit. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a Storm Shaman right here as well. So Storm Shaman at this point, and we're going to go ahead and... Should I level up? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and level up now. And so I'm going to put the Stone Shaman in here also. He is really good. So he will also silence enemies and also dealing damage, uh, magic damage as well at the same time. And so having him in there will, uh, you know, will, will be really helpful. But I should have put him in the front line so that he could get damage. So the way the, you can sort of see the blue line going up. The way it works is when it attacks as well as receives damage is when the mana goes up. And the more you get attacked, the faster it charges up. And also, you can give it items so that it can charge up the, um, you can charge up faster. And I'm gonna pick up the flaming wizard as well, just because, uh, you know, I'm, I, I can always sell it back. So we'll see how it goes because I have uh, basically. So we got the test champion and swordman. So I'm gonna go and pick, pick these up. So you know, I think I'm gonna give. I'm probably not gonna go with the. You know, I don't need to sell it right now. I am still waiting to see if I can get another. One right here. Um, so the question is, who would be better? Will I get? You know, I might be better off getting the beast bonus in here. So I have, I still maintain my warrior bonus, and I have a beast bonus right here. Most of my units are two stars, so that's really good. And we're, we should be, we should be able to to uh, take this team out relatively easily. Yeah, so that should be that, that's good. All right, so so we're continuing our win streak now, and so sort of the next thing that we have to do though is to sort of decide: are we gonna go hunter or or mage here? That's really what I wanted to do. I think the hunter will be easier to go with. Um, again, none of these are what I want to get, so I'm going to actually just do this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move this here. So in preparation for the uh, wolf pack, the, the, there's five wolves and four of the smaller ones are essentially like assassins. So they'll jump to your back line and attack there. And so putting my uh, my, my tanks here uh, will sort of protect my, um, my weaker units here, although they're not all that weak here. But my, my problem right now is I'm lacking a little bit on the bat, on the sort of the ranged support. And so I, that's why I wanted to go with either Hunter or uh, Mage here. But I think also just focusing on getting to two star for all of my units as fast as possible, uh, building out that really nice, strong defense is going to be really good. 
and okay so let's see we got some things that we can combine so we can combine a dracula mask uh that's fine but i think i want to give my my uh storm shaman the elf mask because it's going to uh give additional mana regeneration so it basically charges a little faster all right now let's go ahead and bring you guys back and so since she's going to charge up faster, I may not need to put him in the front line. And I'm going to wait one more round and around 17, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be at 50. And at that point, once I'm above 50, then I'll slowly level up to level eight. A level eight is where I'm going to sort of hold steady for a little bit and basically just uh, level up using experience but keeping it at about 50 so I can keep my uh, my um, my economy going. How is everybody doing? So we've got Fumika 52 and Loser 41 and also he's at 43. Level 6 all around except for a few of us, 47. So economy wise I'm doing okay and I think Fumika is going to uh, probably go up pretty soon to level 7. And so we're up against Shadow X and so now this, this is a um, the first loss we have here and they do have some so it's basically a knight yeah so you can see i told you right the knight um the knight glacier is really strong and so that's why i do need to have hunter or um you know i think i think hunter probably actually um has an advantage there so i'm gonna go ahead and spend five here and i'm gonna start rolling maybe in a round or so right now i'm not seeing anything and i'm not gonna go for three star per se but um dragon knight do i have any humans on the team right now i think i do would dragon knight be a good pickup i will at least pick it up just to kind of keep it out of the pool of the people who are running um running dragon or who are running knight uh, because dragon knight is quite strong as a um, as a unit there so I'll, I'll keep it this way and we've got razor claw so razor claw for beast bonus might not be bad um, you know I'm probably gonna do this I'm gonna sell the, the I'm gonna go pick up level up and we're gonna go, we're gonna wait one more round and then we will we will see um, probably around 19 is when I'm gonna go ahead and or at least by round 21 is when I'm going to really uh, basically pump everything into getting to level 8 so I have a couple of rounds here so I have 18 I can if I survive if I win this round then I can uh, go into 19 hopefully um, but although see right now I'm up against hunters and you can sort of see there's they're just kind of picking up picking apart my team right now uh, so we really need to take out this level two yeah level see level two werewolf really strong as well so we lost eight there and, it, and unfortunately I wasn't able to pick up any hunters except for now so that's good so this is this is where I'm gonna uh, sort of focus here and we're 55 I'm gonna go ahead and put one in and so I could you know I could actually just go ahead and level up and let's go ahead and put one in here yeah I'm not gonna bother with a unicorn and so I guess, I guess the question is do I pick up the poisonous worm for for now let, let's see this is sort of like going going away from what I was originally thinking and I kind of had the idea I was going to go with a hunter's build. Uh, I could technically go with the beast, I mean four allies, but that may not be worth it. That might actually end up um, be more of a problem for me. All right, so I lost this one as well. So yeah, so that's, that's, that's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and sell you here. And let's see. So Red Axe Chief... Hmm, I might need to also consider moving my line a little bit. I do need to get my... I do need to get my... Um, my hunters. I already have my hunter. 
because I have the Skull Hunter and I have the Wind Ranger and also the Gersus Ranger. So I guess I could let's let's go ahead and uh, rearrange a little bit. And I think I, I don't I think for me right now uh, probably what because I don't have Werewolf I really wanted to get that. All right, so there is also the win the the Ranger. So I'm gonna go ahead and level up to eight right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and move you here, here, and I'm going to put this as well as this. Okay. And so right now I've got a hunter bonus and I think I think this is, I'm up against another Hunter build as well, and this is going to be, uh, this is a bad one. I, I didn't do a great no. job of uh, moving my line around, and so I need to, I need to reconsider here. So this is, this is where um, it really will make a difference here, and not having, and now I'm sort of lose streaking, so that's kind of funny. And I have Dwarf, uh, dwarf Sniper, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I gotta think about this for a second. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of you, and let's see. So we can get the dwarf sniper. So which one would be better? I guess you know. I'm gonna go ahead and give Icarus this ranger. This right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and combine. Yeah, so I think I think perhaps I need I might need to get rid of. Yeah, I'm starting to go in a, a pretty bad losing streak right now, and I think this is where I need to to really think about my composition a little bit better. So my warriors are okay, but maybe my cave clan. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Might need to consider this for now. And let's get the Soul Reaper in here. Mm. What's going to be better for me? Would it be better to get a Razor Claw? So let's see. Let's see how this works. So we're up against Gnome. Uh, it's a basically a knight build as well. I'm hoping that we can defend here. The goal is always to try and get to you know top three if possible. And right now I think we should be okay. I just really need my units to. I, I really need to pick up some better units here. And I and I have to also give items to my guys as well. So let's see. So there's the Wind Ranger. So okay. So I'm gonna put pull you back for now. Egersus for my oh here's the pirate captain so I'm gonna go ahead and pick you up and I'm gonna get rid of you. Okay, so how is this line doing right now? I'll keep him for now, and right now I'm unable to pick up another swordman or a red axe chief. Uh, so this is really just to, to hopefully go for a three a three start build there. Although I'm not I'm not married to it per se. Although having the pirate captain here is going to be very helpful with uh, just getting the stun in. And so having the soul reaper in here really sort of helped get rid of their armor. Just to, you know, uh, to, to help with taking them down a little bit. Although uh, I'm still still losing to their um, to the two stars there. So here's another pirate captain. And if I were running a mage build, Tort uh, Tortala Elder would have been really good. All right, uh, so we're up against the Wild Wing Ripper, and we're down to 40. This is a pretty close game, actually. Everybody is around the, f you know, 40s, and Seeger's at 16. Although people are starting to pick apart my team, so I really need another Werewolf. Like all of these sort of one-star cards are, are sort of the problem. And I and I might have leveled up. 
a little too early. I might have leveled up a little too early rather than rolling. So I haven't been rolling very much. And so I need to start rolling for better cards. And that's what I'm going to do after this round. So we'll be able to take the life crystal and I do need to make sure I give them to my uh, to my warriors so that they get a little bit more health. So each one is also 50, uh, 250 health. So that really would be helpful. Okay. So there's the swordman. So let's go ahead and pick you up. And we're going to roll for... We're going to skip these for now because I'm not going for a three star. What I'm hoping for is another. Uh, so there's the Gersus Ranger, so I needed that. I was hoping to get either a pirate captain or another werewolf. That's really kind of what I was hoping for. And I do need to give it to my tank, so let's go ahead and give it to you right here. And also give it to... Oh, it looks like he's dead. Yeah, so we're up against a... Uh, mage build. Uh, that took me out. No, that hurt. So Seeger's, uh, you know, basically got five out of six now with also... It's a really strong team, so... Uh, investment's paying off. And it got a three-star? A three-star looks like source? yeah so yeah it's it's a it's a it's a mage build that, that's doing quite well and i need better i need better cards i need better um to start and uh let's let's see so i think i'm gonna give up on the attempt to go three stars at this point and so let's see what we can get well we do get another storm shaman so i guess i can do that so i can I consider putting him back in there. We're up against loser right here, and yeah, so I'm just getting picked apart by the hunters here, and I'm really not, um, really not doing well right now. So this is uh, this is really unfortunate. So I, I might even just end up losing everything at this point. So that really is unfortunate turn of events. So. Uh, all right, so what do I do? What's better? I think I think the problem is I have my werewolf in there and it's just not doing what I need it to. And so I'm going to take you out for now. I'm going to put in this guy. And let's see. I need to roll basically for my life. Dwarf Ranger. Need to roll a little faster here. Let's go ahead and make sure that we can get Soul Reaper. There you go. Let's go ahead and rank this up. So let's see if we survive a little bit better with this setup here. So all the people that I used to beat before are now uh, beating me. So the other option I can I can go with is to try and go to level ten early. Uh, oh man. So this is also. I think I survive. I think I survive here, although not by much. So down to four. All right. This is sort of coming down to it at this point. So um, pirate captain, good. Egersus ranger, good. All right. So now what do I take out? I think I take you out. I think the problem I'm having right now is I don't have enough. I don't have enough um, health, and I'm going to take you out. I'm going to put in another hunter in there and I'm going to basically do this and I'm going to give you basically everything I have at this point. So let's see. Shadow X, who's also uh, at four health. So let's see if we can take out his... It's got a uh, glacier build and I think we are able to hold just fine and we do and he do, he has taken out. So. We just need to survive a few more rounds. Uh, we're round 30 now, and we're going to be going up against... Uh, what's level 30? I forget. The Thunderhide. So I'm hoping that we survive against Thunder th uh, Thunderhide. Uh, let's see. Um, here's a Storm Shaman. All right. I think maybe what I need to consider doing is this. I need to consider basically going to 10 and just put everything in there. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do this. So I'm get basically get my cave clan bonus, get my uh, warrior bonus, and all of my knights. And this is sort of my all-in right now, given that I only have four health. Uh, I don't really have much of a choice. I'm hoping that this works out for me. And we do have uh, elf headwear and ring of life, life crystal, and so we can basically take this and can combine there. So that's good. And uh, for my elf. Uh, I need it to give I need to give this to him and let's see life crystal I need to give to you and let's do that and so basically I think this is I don't they don't have any there's no assassins and so another thing I could try and do is maybe put them up in the front line a bit let's see if this works out so I want I want my pirate captain to also uh, you know give his basically his ultimate as quick as possible and also we silence them and that was a pretty good oh there that was a perfect shot by the wind ranger right there so we actually can take out loser here so that's good oh man and somebody's on a 10 win streak right here so let's see what he's running with uh he's basically going with a very similar build that i was except he's also got a uh, warrior and he's got the uh, helicopter there all right so let's see so hmm. at this point i think i just have to hope that this line works and Let's see. So let's 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 see if we can. So we're up against uh, him, who's got the mage, and uh, we want to take out his mage as early as possible. He's also got a helicopter. Let's try and take him out before. There you go. Okay, good. We're able to take out the helicopter before it dealt too much damage, and so we're able to hold against him right there. So, oh, that was a close one. All right, so we're also uh, going up against no more hoping to um, we're hoping to su survive with this team here and we want to see if we can get basically our oh there's dark spirit all right so we're gonna pick up the dark spirit and what could I actually take out though the problem I have right now is if I take out anything, so Dark Spirit is to make them lose all of their health and it's really good against a Knight build. And this one, you know, I might need to do this. So I might need to do this for now. Let's, let's just see. Because if I go up against Knight, like right here, I need them to lose their uh, their armor as fast as possible. That That is, that is really what I need them to do. And otherwise, I, I will uh, not be able to, to go through their armor, and I will die. So I was able to hold against them as well, so that's good. And Gnome fails, so now we're up against Loser, Fumika, and the second place finisher. Or not finisher, current second place. So we're in top four now, uh, doing a lot better than, than I thought we were going to do, given that we had, um, you know, basically just four health. Uh, Blight Sorcerer probably uh, let's let's go okay oh that was a perfect that was a perfect roll for a two star uh for a two star star uh spirit here dark spirit and i'm trying to think having the four hunters here is probably what is helping me out although i would have liked to put in the soul reapers to to, re to reduce their armor although i think this uh this might be okay so let's let's get oh he's gonna get stunned but let's let's make sure you get your um, your ultimate off here. Uh, this is probably going to be it. Unfortunately, this is going to be it. I uh, couldn't take him out. I oh, and I ended up losing just a little too early. Had I actually um, had I actually lost just a little bit later, I would have come in third place. So that's unfortunate, but I did uh, manage to hold off uh, to top four, and I gained a little bit of trophies there. I think I was up against, I, I guess, let's take a look to see who we are up against there in terms of their placement. 
Uh, got some nice candies there and some trophies. Uh, so bishop two, bishop two, bishop three. So yeah, we were up, we were up against uh, relatively similar uh, teams there. So we were really close to coming in third there. So that was, that was actually a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, so that was basically how I uh, was basically using my hunters, uh, not hunter, my my. Um, my warrior build and try to do warrior plus hunter didn't quite work out as well as I would have liked in the end uh, but that was sort of you know my strategy that I've been playing with and it's you know been giving me relatively good success where I could at least stay in the top four top three or so anyways hope you enjoyed this video uh, hope you like this and uh, we'll see you in the next time all right take care